<laughs> Have you seen that form topic? <laughs> I mean, it was amazing because Michael is in S tier, so I fully agree. I love how he just puts almost all the t top players, all their colors at S tier. And then there's a few specific ones like putting Terraria color at FF tier. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's understandable. That color is ugly as fuck. No, it's not. Yes, it's it not is. That it's it's like it's my third or fourth pick. Oh come on, that color reminds me of crispy ambulance. It cannot be a <laughs> yeah, good that's color. The it cannot what you be think good. It's bad. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh. <laughs> Maria, I see that Mr. Beast and both Nexus were actually forced to go and peak UEF. As their faction of choice. Excuse me, how about the player introductions? <laughs> Let's be honest, do these players need introductions? They're the giants of Faf. I don't know, the last time I saw him, he lost to some AI, so. <laughs> okay, so welcome to the first game of the round of eight of Legends of the Stars. In the left side, we have Nexus playing UEF, and on the right side, we have Pepsi. Also known as Mr. Beast, also playing UEF. <coughs> so I assume neither. Actually, Nexus does go for the ACU walk early on, which is, I mean, there's basically two different POs on this map. One is the one that Pepsi do, does, where you don't walk away uh, from the spawning area with your ACU, uh, and the other one is just a classic hydro rush like Nexus is doing. Uh, although then you don't really get. Nice adjacency early on, as you can see. Nexus factories aren't planned around any of the mixes, while Pepsi's all get double adjacency. Yep, there is a small difference between the build orders, so we will see how is it actually gonna go and snowball out from here. Especially as it looks like Pepsi is actually uh, slightly faster when it comes to building pigeons and stuff, but Hydra have been yeah, actually Yeah, he is, finished. but he will be a, a bit more behind on Nexus because he only built his Nexus after three pigeons, I believe. Well, Nexus insta built them, of course, so he will be. Also, I forgot to disable Supreme Scoreboard, as always. Oh, well, sucks to be you, I guess. Um. Couple of early scouts out. Uh, I'd say the big difference early on, unironically, is that extra scouts from Pepsi. That he is gonna send to the three groups to kill them from Nexus. Oh yeah, that is true. The three groups are actually quite important because not only there is a lot of them, but they also are quite worth. I'm very surprised Nexus isn't even a tech moving an engineer there yet, because that is beyond common to do on this map. Like you see that uh, Pepsi is already doing. That engineer already got 500 mass just from tech moving on the edge there. Yeah, exactly. So it seems like Pepsi is actually better prepared for it. Meanwhile, Nexus is showing the signs of Rust for not playing for quite some time. No, 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 no. Nexus played a lot recently. Oh, really? I didn't yeah, see he, him. Yeah, he played a lot of 1v1s. Oh, well, maybe that's why. So, so, you, you, you cannot say that. That is illegal. Oh, come on, everyone knows that I barely know anything about this game. You are the man with knowledge here, not me. <laughs> Just an old man. Hey, let me see how many games Nexus has in the last month. Um, oh, quite see. unfortunate. It seems like the bomber have been already on the... No, wait. Pepsi actually did an attack move on it. So the About bomber a hundred... Is... Oh, yeah. Yep, here's About a hundred games. Oh, that's quite a lot. Way more than I thought. But it yeah. seems like the bomber from Nexus is actually gonna go only a single engineer. As a micro misstep from him is gonna go and cost him the second drop. Killing only a single engineer, so I wouldn't call it worth it. Yeah, especially since the engineer was in the main base and not an expanding engineer. Uh, what is important though is Nexus is a lot faster to his expanding Nexus uh, south uh, east of his base with an engineer. There is a raid coming that might be able to kill it. I see that your draw is broken. Yep. Mine is not. Ah, I have this one working. <laughs> this one works. Okay, oh, nice. nice pigeon block from Nexus. Safe oh, stage. Oh yeah, game. that was beautiful. Um. So yeah, early game seems quite similar, I would say, because of that faster expansion. A bit better for Nexus. He's also making, a, like, he made two more bombers. So this means he went triple bomb already while having the same inti count as Pepsi. Of course, he has double the airfax. But he's not really making it 
worth yet because you know he isn't making enough inties to actually win here to deny his bombers from being shot down. Yeah, that is true, although we can see that those bombers went around the map, so it might be possible to still find some random engineers here and there. Or maybe even deny some of the drops. Yes, that is true. Uh, Nexus did make uh, the nice factories in the middle now, though, of his uh, four max locations. That's the beauty of this map, being able yep. to uh, get that quadruple adjacency. Uh, it makes it cool! Although, uh, Pepsi... Pepsi has not done that for a single one of the locations. Yeah, and for some reason, instead of finishing the building of this factory here with the adjacency, he wanted to make one here, with no adjacency or anything at all. Yeah, that's that's extremely weird. Like, unironically, like, on a early game, this map is pretty low mass. You don't have that many maxes available. It's only when the reclaim starts kicking in that you can really afford a lot more. So that adjacency is is worth quite a bit to be honest. Like it's it basically is an extra well not like half a factory for free of of gold power I think. I mean this one with quadruple adjacency for Nexus shows minus two mass per second instead of minus four. Yeah, that is true. And especially and... if it becomes a tech two factory later on, it becomes very fucking good. Yeah, I have to fully agree, especially when you have to go and spam so many units in 1v1, all the mass basically counts. And okay, no, so... Griff, we are reading it in the chat, but we decided to ignore you. <laughs> yeah, as always. So, transport out from uh, Pepsi, go to the bottom, but there's a bomber lying in wait there. Uh, yeah, and, although and it also seems like Nexus. Nexus is gonna go and win the air fight here, because while Pepsi was so true. not looking, Nexus is going for the push here, and yeah. He's not gonna lose even a single interceptor while all of oh, never mind. Two might be no, all of them are gonna go and die. The Indies really like to be in the mountains on this map. <laughs> I mean it's quite a steep mountain if you go and look at it. It is. So let's see if there's any tech two factory plans. Oh, Nexus actually managed to edge build a factory on uh, on, the top, on the top of his base. I didn't even know that was possible. Well, uh, we have learned something from the boss. Apparently, you have enough range for that. So you don't. I've, I've seen everyone drop their transport so far, but I guess it's not needed. So I mean, on one hand, when you go with the transport to drop this position, you can just drop a single engine down there, so yeah. It's on the way. Yeah, so both sides kind of raided each other's expanding engineers to get the reclaim group, like, north of Pepsi's base and south of Nexus base. Like an engineer, usually when you finish, like for Pepsi, when you finish making these two Nexus, you build a factory there to attack move, but it got raided by a bomber from Nexus, and the engineer from Nexus got raided by some tanks. So they're both kind of delayed with the reclaim, although Pepsi is a bit early because he got a second factory up that side. Uh, so very luckily for Pepsi, he got a factory on, online at the bottom, even with because the bomber was idle for too long. So he might be able to still retain uh, the plateau there. Also, Even it seems like Pepsi is there. setting the gun on great, although Nexus is gonna follow in the same vein, so yeah. It seems like both players are actually getting ready to duke it out on the middle. It's very weird, I don't see a single attack to HQ upgrades. Uh, being started even. It's just full tech one spam, and if I remind myself, like, I mean, the best gameplay on Darkfall so far has, would have been from Turbo. Uh, he performed the best uh, out of everyone so far. <coughs> and, uh, ooh, nice bomb killing all the engineers assisting uh, Pepsi's ACU. But, uh, Turbo always got like minutes 6 or 7 tech 2 HQ and then rushed the tech 2 Pigeon with it before it's a quick tech 2 transition. Pepsi's yeah, exactly. being very aggressive with his units here, but it's. Yes, yeah, it's not a good so. trade. It's not a good trade, to be honest. He did finish the gun faster, though, so he will get some extra value from that map. But yeah, the reason why Tech 2 is also so good is because Tech 2 PDs are so strong on this map. Oh yeah, I have seen it happen, especially in the last game in the previous tournament, where how what was it? <laughs> Yudi vs <versus laughs> Turbo. Yeah. <laughs> they were just building PDs and well, chatting, let's say. But yeah, the triads can get an absolutely massive value here on the middle. 
Not to mention that T2 can actually lead to some squall gameplay later on when you see 2T the RT maybe even build. Yeah, or maybe it's it... just squall thing. I'm actually surprised they both uh, uh, didn't veto UEF here. Uh, I, I guess they vetoed Aeon. But still, I think UEF is such a strong pick here. I, I, I think I would prefer it over Aeon simply because... Uh, I mean, your PD is just so sick. Uh, both your Tech 2 and Tech 3. Tech 3 are sick, plus you have a Ravager available. And yes, Ravagers are true. actually good on this map. I mean, they're, they're good in general, although they are a bit niche of when you use them. Yeah, but the this problem map, is that they basically good. need some kind of position which they can hold or basically go and push with the Ravager creep. Because they are so expensive, and if enemy can basically walk past them, it's really sad. Yeah, and this, you want to, like, what Pepsi does is doing now, like, he pushed this position with his ACU and some units, and now he, there's a reclaim field. If you have a single Sparky, that's also one of the positives of UEF, a single Sparky, uh, to make a single PD, to, to just hold the reclaim field and just do a slow push like that. But so far, the army positioning of Nexus has been quite a bit better. At least he's been setting up the... the the flanks and the concave and a bit better and has had some better fights and, um, although it still looks very even that the top and bottom are also split by kind of a lot yep and they speaking all... about the little engineers it seems like pepsi is actually dropping one of them to go and start the oh, that, that's, that's, yeah yeah that's really nice it's sadly not a sparky but i yeah he did rush tech to uh where's the tech two from nexus it's not even done yeah, this so, would be a really big advantage for Pepsi. Yeah, that, that is, like, Nexus doesn't have anything to counter that tactic when he wants it up, especially compared with the gun ACU. Like, it just wins the gun versus gun ACU fight on the spot. Nexus is still spamming way more bombers, like, right now he sends in five more. Oh, no, he's gonna kill the T2 Engineer, I think. He oh, is, but, yes. only, but only after the PD is already done. And a single PD is so valuable, and that's five tech on bombers, that's, like... Yeah, that's expensive. quite a lot of like, mass and energy. They're gonna be on like below 50 mass income. Well, actually, both of them are exactly on 50. Nexus 50 and oh. Mr. Bis is on 51. Yeah, I'm guessing. I don't. I <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Scoreboard. Your scoreboard is bugged. Yeah. But yeah, it seems like Nexus is actually recognizing that he will have to go and fall back and give up the reclaim field to the t 2 pds here. Um, yes, so the tree reclaiming operation is going, I think, pretty even. I mean, Nexus does have a lot more engineers at this point, though, than Pepsi has. Yeah, uh, like both Although, in the top actually, top Pepsi combined. is stealing some of the mass here, so Angie's in the top left corner. Yeah, he, he, he right clicked like two big rocks uh, with all of them at the same time, which was kind of funny. But yeah, Nexus is losing his front Nexus now. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> edges you see the shoot of the PD creep from Pepsi, look at that, all the way into the main base. I mean, that's how we go and play this map sometimes. Oh no, we have the counter PD creep from Nexus. He's doing the same thing. Ah, oh, very but, good. Uh, and he's using the thing is, Pepsi already got it into the good position of denying these forward six. In fact, it's even eight Nexus. Uh, he's denying from Nexus here. Yeah, not only that, there is 3000 reclaim here to be got. Yeah, although I think it's more likely that Nexus gets the most of that at the way it is now. But Pepsi should have a pillar advantage, and uh, I don't think Pepsi should continue to creep with the PDs because, like, a few MMLs would count that. Yeah, Nexus is already making MMLs, and MMLs were buffed in the last patch, so it's. They're quite a bit better now, it's what they're supposed to do. A big counter attack from Pepsi, but there's a few tech on PDs in this mix as well. I, do, I think he has to switch to the bottom right to kind of catch that army out of position. Like, I think he can make this fight work, but kind of... Yeah, but with the last changes to the T1 walls, this might be really hard to go and take it. Although Pepsi is actually using no. the T1 bombers to go and basically bat yeah. down all of the PDs. So very nice use of them. Especially as Nexus is not responding. Yeah, but I'm not sure if it's worth like eight tech on bombers, but now he's going after some mechs or something. He sniped the radar! He sniped the radar. Oh, the radar. what a beast. 
Nexus May is keeping PDs with Sparkies. But, uh, oh, that's a good OC from Pepsi. He killed two and damaged the PD at the same time. Yep, here goes the third uh, Sparky, so yeah. Nexus I, I, a I'm lot not of sure power. about this fight. Look at the amount of units Nexus ha has and look at the, uh, the concave. The thing is, Nexus is retreating with his SU. He's too scared to, to stay here. And he can't really afford to do that because this PD king from Pepsi will eventually just. Like, if Pepsi's using his ACU well, Nexus isn't, that's such a big difference. I think Nexus had enough to maybe do a pretty decent push here. Also, yeah, Pepsi basically killed double, double the amount of units with his ACU compared to Nexus. Yeah, he did. Although his gun was online earlier. Um. A small raid at the top because Nexus made some factories uh, within the three groups. Uh, he's actually killing a bit of a um, few mexes. The thing is, the eco, eco like tech to max counts, they're both on one tech to max, I think. Like this laid on. Okay, there's about to be a second for Pepsi, but. I... Under attack. Please hold, pass, I'm AFK. What? Wait, what? What did I... you type? Wait, where do you see that? I don't see it anywhere. Huh? You, you you said that in chat. Oh, it must be my mod, but because I'm observer, it doesn't do anything. Otherwise, it would basically just go and pause the game if I were in the game. What the fuck? <laughs> that confused me. But <laughs> Sorry very for much that. So. <laughs> but it's very good mod for the ladder, because if you actually go away from the PC and get a game, it will pause the uh, game for you. After you uh, don't do anything for five seconds. Uh, so... Look at the look at the ar unit counts. Pepsi just lost most of his army. To, like at the bottom, there's a massive master nation, like two and a half k mass there was. In, oh just yeah, that PD PDs. got a lot of kills here. Meanwhile, around Nexus ASU, I mean the, the the saving part for Pepsi is his PDs are getting great value. Like his PDs have uh, 800 mass kills, 1.2 k mass kills, 600 mass kills, and they're still alive and shooting. Uh, but. Aside from that, he barely has any units left. He also keeps rallying bombers into an anti cloud. I mean, do you need units when you have all of these PDs here in the middle? Your yeah, ACU should be actually quite safe here, especially when well, you make the Well, the thing repair. is, eventually if Nexus uh, gets too many units, or if he just goes mass MML spam, which I think he should have done, uh, to try and contain this firebase, because MMLs are slightly cheaper now, but more importantly, more importantly, they also have more range, so... Oh yeah, that is that true. It's way, way easier to go and actually meet to them now. Yes, exactly. You don't... The chance of them accidentally suiciding into the PD they're supposed to counter is so much lower. And because of that, it's a lot safer to use them. Uh, compared to how it used to be. Oh, it seems a like... A shield plate for... He, he has the E? Okay, he has two Yes, pigeons. he has the E and the pigeons, so yeah, he's not only going for the nano, but also for the shield, so... It seems I'm... like he's getting ready to go and make a really good push here. That's Although he's selling 1000 energy here right now, so yeah. Yeah, he's assisting with three engineers. That's too much. Take two engineers. That's... He should definitely pass some of them. Although he's still in way better position than Nexus, because Nexus... I don't see any T2 pigeon here from him. Oh, he doesn't have a tactic pigeon yet, that's no. huge. He is And also, on... he only has 45 mass per second. Meanwhile, Pepsi is actually on 67. He, in, yeah, because of the lack of front Nexus. Uh, Nexus, however, is on 9 tech 2 factories making units. Well, Pepsi seems to be on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at the moment. No, that's but actually gonna again. be more. That's actually 6 if you count the HQ. I did count HQ. Am oh I wait, fine? sorry, the changes to the model actually bamboozled me. <laughs> okay. Oh, it seems like Nexus is actually gonna go and try to make a small push on the right side of the middle. But Pepsi is yeah. gonna respond with his own units. So he Pepsi managed to go to and kill the... extremely careful though, because he is actually like... Oh, nice boss. Because he still has... Uh... Let's basically Oh no, there. look at Nexus, he's taking all of the damage from the three triads on the middle. Oh yeah. That's not he good. He did get nano though, and he's about to get a second vet. Pepsi is shift G'ing on Nexus, that's oh, not no. a good move, that's such a bad move. He's not gonna get the kill here. He's, like, 
And now look at the, the unit count. Now Nexus uh, retaliates because Vets' units are out of position. Nexus is going in. He is 40 miles away from a Vets. Oh, see it. The pillar. Oh, see a pillar, Nexus. What? Oh, no. Only 1,000 HP left on Nexus as Fortrides are still shooting 700, 600. No, he's gonna die. 300, 400 gas shot and kill. Oh, 68. Don't, no. Don't, oh, no. Nexus goes out in the fiery blaze of glory. That was Diet's such a misplay. Killed. Oh no. That was that was disastrous. Yeah, I mean like, this was actually looking like a pretty good trade from him because he had so many more units compared to Pepsi. No, exactly. The issue is He never made MMLs to break that PD base. Uh and Pepsi's the one that made the counter MMLs instead too. <laughs> Like, Pepsi massively overcommitted with his tanks, but Nexus it was 40 mass away from a vet that entire time, and he was just shooting Pepsi's ACU. But he had a shield ACU, he was not gonna kill Pepsi there. Like, Nexus tends to win that uh, position and fight, or was to, uh, was to, after Pepsi suicided most of his units, to completely either swarm the entire PD base, or just retreat after that small win, and then just go around the PD base. Because you can go around the south with all, with your entire army. Yeah, there's nothing just, to stop it. There's yeah. no PDs There's no army, there. no nothing. You just go and walk to the straight to the main base of Pepsi. Kill all of, all of the build power. Kill the Econ stuff and it's gonna be GG. Because Pepsi won't have anything to respond with. Like, it's... Well, well I, I think Pepsi should be able to defend there. Just build some emergency PD and his rally point will be there as well. But... You don't charge straight into a fire base like this. I mean, there's just too many PDs. There's like, and they're spread around everywhere as well. There's a shield nano gun ACU in front of it as well. Other reinforcements coming. I don't think he could ever break that with that push at this point. Uh, I think the main issue was just Nexus not making MML spam. Nice sounds. <laughs> Hello, anyone speaks Polish? Um, okay, sorry, I will need a quick break because a client just came, so give me like one, two minutes. I have to go and give him some medicine. I'll be right back. Okay, sure.